Bilateral blur and smart blur are both found under the blur and sharpen category. And I'm gonna start with bilateral blur and just apply it to this photo of these giraffes. What this effect is attempting to do is find areas of contrast and preserve those contrasted areas while blurring out and smoothing everything else. So if I turn this off and back on, you can see that the background, which is mostly this bluish gray color with not a lot of contrast, really gets smoothed out while the giraffe maintains a lot more of the detail. If I zoom in nice and close, especially on the pattern, you can see that it is smoothing those colors out and making it more like a posterized effect while still maintaining the shading of the actual picture. And we only have a couple of controls to modify the way this is actually blurring. The first is radius. So this is how far this effect is searching for those areas of contrast. So if I were to increase this to 125 instead of 25, it's gonna take a minute to render. This is a pretty slow to render effect, but now those colors are bleeding into each other more because the sample radius is larger. So it's blending the lighter areas of the giraffe's pattern with the lighter colors in the background. I'm gonna set that back down to 25. And the next property is threshold. And this is basically how the effect determines what should be blurred and what should be left alone. So if I crank this up much higher, it's going to blend a lot more of these colors together, basically increasing the tolerance for what areas of the image should be blurred. I'm gonna reset that back down to its defaults. And the only other option is colorize. If I uncheck this, we're just going to get a grayscale image instead of the full color image. Now, bilateral blur is actually very similar to smart blur. So I'm gonna add that now. And the two main controls are identical, radius and threshold. The difference between smart blur and bilateral blur is that smart blur is not going to blur those points of contrast at all. If I turn this off and turn bilateral blur back on and zoom in nice and close, I'll take a snapshot of this effect, bilateral blur, then turn it off, turn smart blur on, and then compare the two. You see how the edges are much sharper in smart blur than they are in bilateral blur. Now we're also losing more detail with Smart Blur, but we can modify the radius and threshold just like before. So if I turn that radius way up, again, this effect is pretty slow to render. It's gonna make everything a lot softer, a lot more splotchy, basically posterizing this image a bit. And if I turn up that threshold, that will soften everything out much more. But instead of looking very blurry, my entire image still looks nice and sharp. So you can kind of think of this effect like a posterized effect with more detail and a little bit more control over the final look. Let me reset this back to default and then look at the mode property. It's set to normal by default, but I could change this to edge only. And what this is going to give me is basically the mat that the effect is using for choosing what should be blurry and what should stay sharp. This is kind of like a find edges effect. And if I turn up the threshold and modify the radius a little bit, you can see how it's targeting different areas of the image based on those properties. I could also change this to overlay edge, and it's not only going to blur the image, but it's going to overlay that white edge where no blurring is getting applied on top of the image. So those are two lesser used blur effects. You may be able to find a good use for them, but they are a little bit slow to render. But that's everything you need to know about bilateral blur and smart blur. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.